Hello, dear teachers, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to talk about another super cool and fun way to kick off the new school year. And I'm going to introduce a back to school activity that is fun and easy to prepare and that can work both online and offline with your students. So whether you're going to start the new uh, year online, then this can be excellent and you can also adapt it inside your classroom if you're going to see your students face to face. Now, I love this activity because there's an element of surprise in it and it's personal and it gets students thinking creatively and you can also learn a lot about your students from conducting this activity in your classroom. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to use this activity. The first way is to use a site that is called Thingling. It's interactive, it's fun. It's a fun way to engage your students in a lesson. And then I'm going to show you how you can do that by simply using uh, Google Slides or PowerPoint. And it's super simple and fun. So let's start. Okay, so this is the Thingling activity that I wanted to show you. This was done using Thing link, and I simply inserted a picture, a picture with my Bitmoji here. Um, and then I added, you can add tags here. You simply click here to add tags. And I added five, actually six different uh, tags. Now, to each and every tag, I inserted a question, okay, for my students to answer. So there's the element of surprise here. The task says, choose one door and take the challenge okay so students uh the students have to take the challenge by choosing a door and once they do choose a door they have to respond to the question so they simply click here for example choose door number four and then door number four says this room is full of balloons tell us about the things that make you happy it's an excellent opportunity for you to learn more about your students as they talk about things that make them happy. Your student, for example, chooses uh, door number one, and then door number one will say, this room is full of reporters. They are interviewing your favorite celebrity. Who is he or she, and what would you ask him or her? to do it and you can simply uh, display it in your classroom or share your screen if you're using Zoom, Google Meet or any other platform and then ask your students to choose a door. You can play around with it, not only with in terms of doors, it can be different objects that you uh, that you can put inside the picture and then once they uh, choose this item, it will ask them a personal question and then you can learn more about them. That's one way to do it using ThingLink. Now I'm going to show you how you can do that using PowerPoint or Google Slides. Okay, so now I would like to show you how you can do that using Google Slides and the same applies to uh, PowerPoint. I simply find it easier to use Google Slides since I'm used to it, but you can do it in both. Uh, you can have the same picture as you can see here when you can have the doors numbered and then it's you simply have on each and every slide you have for example this is door number one i added the text here and i also added door one this will help me link number one to door number one i'm going to show you how and then i added a cute picture at the bottom and then the same goes to uh room door two which is a room full of cheerful people um tell us about what makes you laugh the same goes to door number three um, there's your favorite person in the world inside this room who is he or she and why do you love him or her and then uh, a room full of reporters and they're interviewing your favorite celebrity who uh, who is he or she and what would you ask him or her and then you can learn more about your students that way and door number five is a room full of roses who would you give them to and why 
Great. And last but not least is room number six that is empty but has a magical pencil. Um, draw anything that you would like to come to life. What would you draw and why? Um, yes, these are actually the tasks. Now let's see how we can link one to door one. Here, I simply click on the, the text, which is number one, and then I go to link, and in link, I go to door one. That's why I told you it's easier to do it when you put the title, so it can really help you. So door, door number one, there you have it. Now it's linked to door one. And the same goes to door two. You simply go on link and then you choose door two and then you apply. You see, it's super simple. So once you go on the presenter's view, I'm going to show you how it looks like. You simply ask your students to choose which door they want. Remember, one and two are linked. I didn't link the rest of them. That's why you don't see um, the pointer. And when I click on one, it takes me to question one. Okay, you see that? I want to go back. Once I click on two, it takes me to door two, which is fun. Super simple to use very very easy and user friendly and you can play around with it with different tasks different topics that you want to do in your class or on in your online teaching okay so there you have it it's super simple and very engaging to students and you can play around with it with different ideas uh, about different topics i hope that i managed to inspire you guys Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos because I'm thinking about creating more videos with more digital uh, tools and more creative ideas to use in your classroom. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum everyone.